Hello and welcome to Views on the Road. Today I'm going to show you how to make agua chile. So let's get started. I have about 30 to 40 shrimp. I bought a big bag at Costco. I went ahead and I cleaned them up, deveined them, washed them. So you're not just cleaning this side, you gotta clean both sides. But if you're lucky and your shrimp doesn't have that, then you're set. I have somebody comment to me to say, never in my life have I seen a uh, shrimp where you have to devein on both sides. Well, I think he had fancy shrimp or something. I don't know. <laughs> My groceries store one, yeah. The only time I don't devein my shrimp is when I do the crispy fried shrimp because that's pretty hard to do. I mean, but you can. You can. Make it comfortable for your home. And you still have to rinse them right after you do that. Mm-hmm. I like my agua chile when my shrimp are butterfly like this. I just think it looks a lot prettier. And if you're lucky, you get a shrimp that has it all the way to the tail. Why is that luck? Because that means you have to do it after work. <laughs> <laughs> I like to slice them when they're frozen. Keeps your shrimp fresh from you handling it with your warm hands. That's probably easier to work with too, right? Yeah, it say. is. It's a little cold, but it's not. It's manageable. They're ready for us to use. What you want to do is you want to add your lime juice. And to your lime juice, you're going to add your salt. You want enough lime juice to cover your shrimp, kind of like when you're making ceviche. That's kind of what we're going for. The shrimp were cut very thin and I sliced them down the middle as you guys can see. And that allows for these shrimp to cook into the lemon juice a lot faster. Okay, make sure you give that a good mix. And you'll see that some of your shrimp is already turning pink because once it's all pink, they're cooked. I want you guys to get a little bit of the lemon juice that we have at the bottom and I want you guys to taste it. You have to figure out if the saltiness in there is good enough for you. For me, I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit more salt. It's like a fourth of a of a teaspoon. Not that much. I switched my salt out, you guys. Yay. So when you've mixed your shrimp with your lemon, and you can use this with different types of seafood. You can make it with orange rough beef or fish. You can do it with clams. Octopus would be great with this as well. Um, it's gonna be up to you what kind of seafood you wanna use, but it's always best with shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes so it can stay nice and cold and fresh while we get to our next step. Okay, now we're gonna blend our ingredients. One of the things that I wanna let you know is that you can make this as spicy as you would like. Currently, my jalapenos are beyond belief spicy, so I chopped one jalapeno, but if you really want that spicy kick, you can use both. You can use up to as many chiles as you want for your blend. This is a, a big bunch of cilantro because I've really been into it. If you don't like it that much, you can keep it out. It'll still work, but it adds such a great flavor. And then here I have a blend of one fourth teaspoon of salt and a sprinkle of pepper. And the pepper's optional. I mean, everything's optional. Make it comfortable for your home. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pour. I have three fourths cup of lemon juice. This one isn't lime juice. This one is lemon juice because we're looking for a little bit of the sweetness. And I ended up using Meyer lemons today. And if you can see, the color is a little bit darker, but the Meyer lemons are also a lot sweeter. So I'm excited for this. And if you're allergic to tomatillo, don't feel left out. This is optional. And I like it with tomatillo, but it's gonna be up to you. And this is just one tomatillo. Now we're gonna blend. If you have a lot of chiles in here and you have a lot of cilantro and it's not blending, you can add a little bit of water. Don't add more lemon juice because they're gonna overdo it. Um, since we still have that big pot of lemon shrimp juice, just make sure to add a little bit of water and continue to blend. If you don't want to use the water, the other thing that you can do is, what do we have here? We have some cucumbers and cucumbers bring out a lot of water and it's all going to be in the same blend. So add a few of them. Let's give it a blend. spicy mine tastes delicious it's spicy but not too spicy but it's definitely missing a little bit of flavor that the serrano brings so i am only using a little bit it's gonna be up to you guys and we're set with this part i'm gonna go ahead and grab my shrimp and make sure that they're ready the other thing i want to let you guys know is that while you're blending this, there's different types of aguachile that you can make. You can put some pieces of mango in here and blend it. You can put some pineapple and blend it and it's just gonna give it more of a fruity flavor but it's still gonna be really, really good. So the options are endless. This is just a starter recipe so that you guys can make it comfortable for your home. It's been about 15 minutes and you see that they go from a gray to a pink color. You should be okay. I had this one time at a restaurant with the, I ordered aguachile and they brought me nothing but gray shrimp with lemon juice. You guys know me, I had a difficult time. I couldn't eat it because it wasn't pink. I'm gonna put that right there, see if you guys can see that. So you see that it goes from like a pink color, some of them are grayish, maroon, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our ingredients that we have in here that we blended. ingredients just begin to mix this is already getting me so excited <laughs> I'm gonna taste it the salt is perfect everything's perfect in here mm -hmm -hmm. I love it now it's time to add our cucumbers and our purple onion if you don't have purple onion, you can use your white onion, but it tastes best with purple onion. It makes it divine. It really does. That's just so beautiful, the green in here. It's so colorful. And if I see a green, I know it's healthy, so I get even more excited. Or maybe it's all that powder green stuff that I've been drinking that I show you guys on Instagram that has me like so excited for green now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it into my dish.
aguachile. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give this a taste. And that's how you make aguachile. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Now let's go ahead and taste this. You know, the other day I was trying to taste like the food, but sometimes it's difficult because it gets really loud, whether it's a gardener, the plane, so I kind of had to rush through it. But whenever I get a chance to taste it, you guys know I always taste my food. One of the salsas that I like to pair the aguachile with is this Salsa Capitan from Mexico Lindo. I'll try and find the link for you guys. And I love it because it's more of a soy base and just the combination of all of it together is amazing. So I'm gonna pour it liberally through the top, okay? I'm going to add some avocado to the side. And I like to eat it with some corn chips or you can put it on a tostada with the whole blend. And let's, let's give it a go. If you guys make any of my recipes, please make sure um, to send it to me on Instagram and Twitter so that I can post them just like this. Wow, it's just spectacular. That was spectacular. I think this is so refreshing and great um, for spring, summertime, or any time of the year. Just so good. Uh, one of the things, if you guys don't have access to this salsa, you can use a little bit of soy sauce, squeeze in a little bit of lime, and add a little bit of tapatio or your favorite hot sauce. Mix it up and add it to it. It's going to give you the gist of what this salsa is. But I highly recommend you guys try this recipe if you like seafood. It is so, so good. Um, and on that note, I want to thank you guys so much for being part of the club and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios! These strawberry filled croissants look divine. I'm going to test them and see how good they are. Let's give this a go. It has a little bit of strawberry filling, not as much as I would like. My junk in the trunk, some eggs. Turkey burgers, strawberries. You guys get curious about my groceries, what I purchase. I'm gonna test this salt out. Hopefully it's a better blend than what I have at home. Butter, a lot of raspberries. Milk, Mr. Rogers book. Crema, blueberries, and some Ritz. <laughs>